this is a this is totally out of like out of the blue for this question but yep. you mentioned talent and you mentioned and how a lot of people kind of label talent and and sometimes there's you know i feel like you could be very talented but a lot of times how out you know hard work can overcome talent i know you and correct me if i'm wrong but you practice with federer right yes yeah so i you know, a lot of people mention his talent. I was, I'm curious to see like from someone that's actually practiced with him, what is practice with Federer like? Like, is, is it, is it all talent or how much of it is, you know, the work ethic that, that he has? Yeah. I think his work ethic is unbelievable. Um, and so I think, yes, talent comes in many different shapes and sizes. This is, this is like the number one reason in my opinion, why we struggle to produce players in the U S because we only look at tangible things that we can see. I, I was a super talented player. It just wasn't right here. Right. <laughs> it was just that it was here. And so so like so I guess going going back to the question, right? Like, yes, he's very talented all over. I mean, all those guys are super talented all over, but so are a lot of other guys. You know? Yes, does he can he do things that is he probably the most talented player of all time? Probably, yes. But like if he didn't work extremely hard and he didn't have a great mindset and he didn't have these you know, the right people around him and all this stuff still wouldn't be great. I mean, um, you know, Coach Creasy has a great way of putting it. He's like, okay, there's three. There's nature, okay? Your, your natural gifts, okay? One to ten. Put yourself on the natural gift scale. One to ten. Let's say, you know, uh, let's say, you know, somebody is a seven. Okay, cool. Then you have your your nurture, your opportunities. Do you have good training? You know, are you, you know, uh, can you go travel to tournaments? Can your family financially support, you know, blah, 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 right? Okay, cool. Put it one to ten. Put it on, then you have your self scale, one to 10. You know, how much desire do you have? How much are you willing to work? You know, what are you, you know, what are your intangibles? Blah, blah, blah. Put it one to 10. His whole thing is like, okay, if you get, you know, for college, he's like, if you get like 23 to 25, then you're like in the ball game. You know, if you're like, you know, the best players in the world, they're going to be like 28. Let's say they're going to be like 26 to 28 or whatever on the scale. But the whole point is that like, I could have a 10 on my talent scale and a two on my opportunities and a two on myself and I get 14. It's not good enough. Not going to make it, you know? So I think that's like a very genius way of thinking about it. Um, you know, you need a little bit of everything, but, but um, yeah, he, he definitely works extremely hard. He's very focused, gets a lot of repetitions. I mean, it was kind of like a, a hit through at the U S open. So it was not like the hardest practice ever, but um, from everything I hear, yeah, he works. Um, um you know, and so do a lot of those players. I'm not going to say they're perfect because I've trained with some other ones who are like, it's kind of like, well, <laughs> not the hardest worker I've ever seen. But, but you know, again, then, you know, the, you know, then again, you also don't know if it's just like, okay, well, like, yeah, they're having train buck, but they've already put in years and years and years and years of work. So they're trying to maintain or, you know, whatever. So, um, you know, I think, I think that you start to realize that it, it's, it's a combination of things. And, and I think that, you know, your hard work can overcome a lot of those, a lot of those, you know, areas in my, in my personal opinion.